All right, y'all, it's a big day. As you know, I'm all into this Child Star shit, Child Star reboot. Um, and today I'm going to meet up with the number one Child Star legend. He's something like the number one. I know you got the Raven Simone, you got the Michael Jackson. This guy knows them all. Goddamn Corey Feldman, man. Uh, I'm proud to be able to help and support him on his next music project. We're going to be uh, shooting a music video for him today. I'm going to be acting as a producer. And so I'm just excited to build with him. Um, you know, tap into the child star community and let's just see how it goes. All right, y'all. So we made it out here to the hills. We at goddamn Corey Feldman's house. I'm about to start filming this without you video. It's going to be smashing. It's so old to his love and we're happy to be a part of it. We're working with a small crew to pull off this without you shoot. So first things first, figure out the camera mount. Oh, because it's not quite level. Can mm -hmm. y'all get like on either side? Is it a little higher? A little higher. And go lower. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Now that everything's situated, the man of the hour was ready to join us on set. I'm gonna come up and surprise you from behind, okay? Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Wrong tomatoes. Courtney made sure to share her nutrition expertise. I think she gave away some of Corey's secrets. And that's the danger where people kind of avoid it. Um, so I always like advocate for it because it's so important and, and it doesn't deserve to be lumped in with those things. But in truth, the brain will die within five seconds if it doesn't have sugar and make it into a potato waffle and put maple syrup on it. They're, they're very versatile. And after we finished up in the kitchen, yeah. we took a tour around the house for the rest of the shots. All right, I'm Corey Feldman right now. Y'all practicing the shot, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like a child star myself. Cool. Yeah. So that's one shot I want to get. So whether it's like, you know, over on the side of the house or in the yard or somewhere, but I want to have her running and me running after her and kind of just like, you know, where we can slow mo it like, no! Corey just took us to China and back, y'all. Look, we're moving around the world. It's not a joke. Without you, it's going to be crazy. All right. Okay, stop telling me what to do now. You know, these, imagine these in quick cuts, right? Yeah. So, Oh, that is good. Look at that. Look at these little color tones hitting. Oh, dude, that's dope. Yeah. It was a two-part video. Yeah. So I wanted it to be like one story that was flipped into two videos. Yeah. And like a this little, like a mixed experience. with the story of Comeback King, which is about this kid who's getting bullied. The next video, and you see this whole stuff that we shot today, plus a little bit of that stuff to where it all ties together. And then you pull out to this big wide shot, and you realize that it was all part of a movie. Nice. Well, we're, yeah, you can capture some of this, I guess, but no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> And this love story wouldn't be complete without the wedding scene. The full moon was the perfect touch. All right, y'all. Uh, this is the money shot without you, Corey Feldman. The band. The well, way the rest of the band is too down here. Before it was all over, Corey blessed Lee Boy TV with a sit-down interview. Check it out now. Corey, legendary filming, sir. We just finished the Without You video. It was an amazing time. Thank you so much for having us in your home. It was it was truly inspirational. Uh, just tell us how you're feeling 
right now after just completing the video show. Oh, I thought it was great, man. I'm, I'm very excited. I think uh, I think it's going to be cool. Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming through, you know, making it happen at the last minute. We threw it together. We made it happen. And, um, you know, look, we weren't working with a lot. We weren't working with a lot of crew. We weren't working with a lot of gear. We weren't working with a lot of high-tech anything. We literally, like, did this guerrilla-style run and jump, um, which, by the way, is how I've done all of my music videos. But I must admit, this was the smallest, fastest, quickest, non-planned video that I've ever done. Um... And we'll and just say it came together organically, it right? It came together. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, but it's still a short film, you know? We still told the story. It still has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And then we got some great performance stuff, I think, uh, with the band. It's the first time everybody's getting to see the new band, so that's exciting. Um, Courtney was beautiful. She looked great in it. Um, I mean, and speaking of the story and the song, like, yeah. what was your inspiration for that? The song itself was written for my new album, Love Left 2, Army With Love. Love Left 2 is a sequel to my very first album, Love Left. And that is all contained within my new box set, Love Left 2.1. So, there's a lot of love going on. It's a big, giant heart. It's a rainbow, psychedelic heart with all kinds of cool art on top of it. So, there's a lot of political statements. There's a lot of, like, bringing the world together, unity, all that. Love, emotion, passion, art is all encompassing in this giant, big, two-foot box that we have created specifically and exclusively for this collection. Anyway, so... All right, so we wrote the, we wrote O Courtney, and I, I said, you know, we've already got O Courtney. It's already on the album, and Jared says, no, 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 but that song is a great song. I love the song, but it's not a pop song. I think we need, you know, we got the banger, comeback king. Now we need one that's like a nice ballad about Courtney. So I want to do a song about her, and I want your feelings to come out in that song. So I start telling him like, oh yeah, you know, well. You know, I, I, I love her a lot. Well, what's it like? What would it be like if she wasn't here? Well, I mean, I couldn't imagine what it would be like, with, you know, if she wasn't here. Like, you know, we complete each other. We're, we're, we're all one, you know. Well, what would it be like? Well, I don't know. Well, give me some comparisons. Well, you know, if there was a storm, man, you know, I'd be the one. I'd have to, like, you know, be there to protect her. That's how it is. Like, I got to be there to keep her warm. I got to be there to do this. I got to be, okay, wait, we're going to take that, and we're going to take that, and we're going to take that. And he took these lines, and he put them into the form of a song. So it was a really interesting writing way, but that was the way it was done. It was a very different style, very different technique than anything I'd done before. And it was cool. It was cool. And so that is how Without You was born. It was born by Jared's creation of basically saying, I want you and I to write a song about your wife because she's so lovely, she's so wonderful. She deserves a really good, sincere, emotional song about her. And there you have it. That's what we got. And she was the center of this video as well. What was it like having her as your co-star? Is this the first time you guys worked together? Um, no. In fact, we've worked together many, many times. Our entire relationship has been kind of like a, you know, Paul and Linda, Desi and Lucy sort of thing. You know, we've got that, that working relationship um, by choice. You know, it's something that... It kind of just happened that way because when we met, I was running my business, Corey's Angels, and she came in to originally, you know, try and get the position as an angel, and there was this big competition we were throwing, and it was like a big event that we threw where we were doing a competition, and so she came in to be an angel, and that was a work job. I mean, that was for her to basically be a promotional model and to like build her career and to market her and do all this kind of stuff anyway. So that was kind of what it was all about. And so she came in to do that. She got picked because she was the most beautiful. She like literally was the exact epitome of what we were looking for. And that's why she got chosen. And then through us working together all the time, you know, it was just like this powerful attraction. But we'd been friends already. So it wasn't like I met her doing that. We met at the Playboy Mansion, actually. And we were already 
talking all the time, but she had a boyfriend, so I was being respectful and, you know, we were being patient and all that stuff. But the, the plan was that she was going to date. We were going to date at some point if we ever both were single at the same time, that type of thing. And then that's how it ended up working out. And then... Um, I mean, it sounds like she was truly Corey's angel. Yeah, uh -oh. exactly. <laughs> the, we had, they actually called her Corey's mangel. There you go. Corey's mangel, because she was one. like the yeah. main one, right? <laughs> so anyway, and and it transformed from that to like she, her, and I actually fell in love, and then you know we got married, and now it's a whole different level because now there are no angels other than Courtney. Um, you know, it's all about our family now. So things have changed quite a bit in the last decade, but. That said, we still have a good time, we still have a, an awesome relationship, and we still work together. And in the early days, she did everything as the representative of Corey's Angels. So she was on the Corey's Angels talk show with us. She did the music videos, the uh, Ascension Millennium, go for it. She was on the Today Show for that historic performance. We did tours. So it's old hat. Now, the difference is on this new tour, you know, there's no other girls in the band. She's the only one. So it's going to be a bunch of dudes, and we got Courtney, and she's going to be center stage with singing and playing keyboard and DJing and all the great stuff she does. So, you know. Yeah, and tell us about the tour, because you guys are going to be going out right away, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going out in a few weeks. And in I fact, heard, uh, I'm sure this video that we shot will be playing every night to our audiences. Mm -hmm. right, First, guys, make sure you guys definitely go and support. You got the album coming for sure, up. For sure. You got the tour coming up. Anything right, right, else right. we need to know about from Mr. Corey Feldman? <laughs> uh, let's see. What else we got? Oh, I know what we got coming up. A big surprise for everyone. So, as I mentioned, the box set, right? Let me just talk about that for a minute. What the box set is, is six discs, four CDs, two DVDs, okay? Now, in those four CDs, we For got... For the next five minutes, literally five minutes, Corey explained everything that was included in the Love Left 2.1 box set. And it's legendary. And don't take my word for it. Go see for yourself right now on CoreyFeldman.net. On top of all that, there's a hologram of me that pops out the top of the box and actually, you know, kind of walks you through and introduces you to the box set. So, it's never been done before in history. No artist has ever had... A hologram image of themselves pop out of their own box set. I did it. So, you're going to want to check it out. We're going to have them on sale on my website, CoreyFeldman.net. And we also have them for sale when you come see us live in person on tour. The Love Re Tours Tour 22 plus a few in 22. Come see us. We'll see you there. I hope that's everything you need because I can't talk anymore. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> well, real quick, real quick, last thing. Uh, you know, and first of all, rest in peace to Corey. Thank, thank yes. you for, um, you know, continuing to um, live out his legacy. And, uh, you know, from a fellow child star, we want to thank you for your fortitude and your your courage in this industry. We recognize everything you. that you're doing, and we look at you as a leader, and we always appreciate you. And, y'all, make sure you get that box set. This guy's got amazing memorabilia all throughout the house, and he's going to share it with you through that box set, CoreyFeldman.net. That's Thanks, right. Corey. Thank you, guys. God bless you. I appreciate you both. Thank you. Yep.